Prior to 1995, there was no buyer agency in Ontario. That meant buyers could not choose a realtor to hire to represent them when they bought a home or a condo. I'm Aura with the Maholland Ross Group at realestatetoronto.com and I want to talk about buyer agency and why I'm so passionate about it. You see, because I was selling homes prior to 1995, prior to buyer agency, and we could show buyers homes and when the time came for them to make an offer right there in the agreement of purchase and sale, it said the buyer and seller hereby acknowledge that the cooperating broker, that would have been me looking after the buyer, represents the seller and has a fiduciary responsibility to the seller, which meant I actually had an obligation to get the highest possible price for the seller. Yeah, obviously a um, little bit of conflict. And so we were very grateful when buyer agency came into being, which is why I'm also quite kerfuffled when I hear buyers talk about that they don't need a, a realtor. You know, they can find everything they need online. And I get it, you can find things online. Um, but having somebody represent you when you purchase a home goes far beyond finding the property. So first and foremost, when you hire a realtor, their goal is to find you the right house, not just any house. I know a lot of people say, I don't want to sign a buyer agency agreement because I don't want to be pressured. Well, actually, it's the opposite. If you hire us to represent you, we're not going to pressure you. We know that when the right house comes along, we're going to sell it to you. It doesn't have to be today. When you don't hire a realtor and you start running with a few here and a few here, there, they're going to try to press you to buy a as soon as possible because they don't know how long you're going to hang out with them and they just need to get you to buy something. Okay. Comes down to as well when you're calling listing agents and saying, I just want to look at the home you have listed. That listing agent just wants to sell you the home you're calling on. They can't share with you any other properties, even others that they think might be better for you because you're not going to buy it from them. They're going to just try to sell the home that you're standing in. And then, of course, some buyers just simply feel that they can do a better deal if they work directly with the listing agent. However, again, walking into that relationship, oftentimes that listing agent has a long relationship with the seller and, goal, and their goal really is to get the highest possible price for the seller. And oftentimes we see people who are so caught up in trying to save a dollar on commission actually maybe lose a great opportunity to negotiate a better price when they buy a home. So if you are thinking about buying a home, I would encourage you to interview a realtor. Here at the Mahal and Ross Group, we'd be very happy to talk about what it is you're looking for and see if we're the right realtors to represent you. Either way, no one needs to go this alone. I'm Aura with the Mahal and Ross Group at realestatetoronto.com. I'll see you in the neighborhood and right across the GTA.